Otters. Otters. Today we, we will, will be, be presenting, presenting <laughs> a presentation <laughs> about otters. This gives me an idea. What if I make a topic and then everyone in my chat has to make a PowerPoint <laughs> in like a very small amount of time and then I'll show them on stream and you got to present. Oh, it could be favorite animal. I've asked the people in my chat to create a PowerPoint in five minutes on their favorite animal. Is this gonna work? <laughs> I don't know, we'll figure it out. You're not, you're not presenting to me. You're presenting to the class on why. You wanna convince them. It's a convincing PowerPoint. Why is your fa animal the favorite animal? Exter's done. Exter, jump in here. Exter's the first to present. Exter. Yo, what's up, Big A? What's up, Big A? What's up, what's up? You got a favorite animal for us? I do, I do have a favorite animal. Now this looks pretty professional. Uh, it looks course, like you yeah. spent a lot of time on that. I mean, did you really follow the, the guidelines? Cause I, I can't imagine you got all this done in less than four uh, minutes. Trust me, dude. I, I've, I've been on a crunch sometimes, <laughs> you know, uh, you got to turn it in quick. So I'm not trying to All right, me. well, without further ado, extra, please present to everybody on the right. magic of the cheetah. Cheetah, cool animal, very fast. Next slide. Cheetahs are very fast animals. They can reach from 60 miles an hour to 80 miles an hour, and they have cool spots, and that's also pretty cool. Uh, look at look at the guy's eyes. Stare him in the eyes. He's fast. Next slide. <laughs> they eat gazelles, and gazelles have uh -huh. co evolved ev ev <laughs> with cheetahs become faster because gazelles are also fast. You sound confident. You sound good. You sound confident. I like that. All right, next. They live in grasslands, savannas. You may know them from Minecraft, very popular game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they live in savannas, grasslands, and they're pretty, pretty uh, clear areas. There's some trees, um, but yeah, they live in savanna, grasslands. Next slide. You are you sure that's how you spell savanna? No, it's with an H at the end. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's supposed to be a SpongeBob gift, but it didn't, it didn't pop up as a gift. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Uh, track seven. Thank you, Axter. Fantastic, fantastic presentation. Uh, well, I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna play five of these, and we're gonna vote on our favorite animal at the end. So, uh, right now, Cheetah's got to be in the front runner. Thanks, Axter. Have a good one. Okay, good one, good one, good one, good one. I feel like Cheetah's definitely a front runner. We learned a lot about them. They're fast. They live in a savanna. Okay, next up, we got Diego. You got a presentation? Yeah, yeah, I've got a presentation. Hell yeah. Okay, you want to send me the link? Oh, let me whisper you. This one's entire. Well, I mean, you just you can take away. It's called I Love Sloss, though, by Diego. Just tell me next slide when you want me to move ahead. Okay. All um, right. This is I Love Sloss by me because I love this animal uh next slide <laughs> uh wait give me a second sorry okay uh they are so goddamn cute i mean have you seen this sloth look at it uh. it's so poggers um uh i saw some guys say sloths suck in the chat F you funky kong 1020 uh next slide uh yeah another picture oh my god look they're so goddamn cute <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> okay. They are gangster. <laughs> Get a load of this. Oh my god. You see the obey hat? Perfect. I do. The the, the deal with it? I got some questions. Nice. I I mean, it, this is not um not a, it's not a not a fact based presentation I'm noticing. Real opinion well, based. I mean, you never really like said I had to <laughs> not into the, I'm like, just one I'm just I'm just I'm 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 pointing out a direction. People are saying you've yeah. got a point, so I'm I'm good. All right, continue. Next slide. All right, yeah, next slide. Mm -hmm. Um, they they saved my life. Speak to that. Um, <laughs> I love them. You know, uh, I met a sloth one time, and they. Yeah, is, I, I was moved. You know. I have a legal team. I got lawyers. They, they're very. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's it. That should be that should be enough. Well, let me go to my you next know? slide here. Okay. <laughs> The end, Poggers. Uh, the end, Poggers. Yeah. yeah. Easy claps in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. Wow, Thank you. that was a good one. Thank you for having me. All right, Diego. Yeah. Pre good. Best of luck out there for sloths. I'll be rooting for Thank them. Thank you. All right. Take it easy. 
<laughs> uh, let's toss Phineas J. Long time chatter. First time power pointer. Phineas J. Yo, yo, yo. Phineas bro. J. You mind if you uh, uh, send me that link? Me I just want to say it's 1 a.m. my time, and I've worked harder on this than anything I've done for school. <laughs> Why dogs are cued, why people happy by Phineas J. Next slide. Oh, right. yeah. Look at this dog. He is cued and he's a bulldog. Wait, is Pitbull dog and he's cute and I like him. Next slide. Done. <laughs> this dog is also cute <laughs> and I like him too. Good point. He has floppy ears. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> this one's my dog. I like him a lot, but he's annoying sometimes. <laughs> but I like him. He's he's funny. He, he can't see. Pity votes, please. Uh, next slide. Uh, this dog is running really fast, like faster than a cheetah, dare I say. And I like him yeah. a lot, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, actually, can I ask a question? I mean, you've done some research for this, right? Of course, yeah. So, uh, in the cheetah presentation, he mentioned they can run, you know, like... 60 to 80 miles per hour or something like that. He was pretty fast. Is this, what's the miles per hour of a dog? At least a thousand, I want to say. I mean, it's fast. I don't want to rush you. Okay. Great, yeah, no, don't worry about it. I spent a long time on this. Gonna make it good. Great. Yeah, you know, you told me you spent more time than anything at school. All right, Phineas J. Phineas J with the dog's pick. Smart pick, if not a perfect presentation because people do be loving perfect. dogs. I will pick another person. My presentation radar is going off. Noah Crawfish. I need access. <laughs> Sorry, Noah. <laughs> You're out. Gray. There it is. Gray, I'm pulling you up. Gray. Gray. Yo. Yo! Yo, what's up? What's up? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm three presentations deep and excited to hear about the power of a good old monkey. Oh yeah, you're not ready for this. This is <laughs> now. Um, I uh, just just before we get into this, because I mean I want to sure. make this as official as possible. I need to go into some credentials of mine, <laughs> so these other randoms uh, don't don't sway you with um. I like that persuasive rhetoric at bed worst. So um, I'm actually a. Actually, from the worst state in the U.S., so I've had to work for all my success. In fact, I actually won a meaningless competition recently, so um, I, I validated myself enough. Uh, can you hear me? I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm sort of questioning, what's the worst state in the U.S.? Gar I guarantee <laughs> it would take you 50 tries to guess it. Rhode Island? No. Wyoming? No. Minnesota? No. I'm not going to guess 50. What is it? It's South Carolina. <laughs> oh, that is here. a pretty forgettable one. <laughs> That's yeah. a tough one to remember. Okay, so a prestigious researcher from South Carolina here to talk about the power of a good old monkey. Take it away. I'll just tell me next slide when you sure. want to go. So, right. um, okay. Wait, I need to meet stream for a second. I'm, I'm, I'm dying here. My mom's asleep and I'm being too loud. I'm dying here too. <laughs> Give me a second. We're on the first slide. I think I'm like 30 years behind. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> so uh, monkeys, the good, the good old power of a monkey. Uh -huh. These are these are these are good animals. Next slide. Yeah, of so course. I'm gonna go with three points as to why, as to why these are the best animals. Mm -hmm. They're good. So so first off, monkeys. What what is good about a monkey? They're useful. They're super cool. So now I'm gonna go into three detailed points as to why. So the first uh, chat, make sure you're taking notes. This mm -hmm. is very important. People, G the chat. first. Yeah, yeah, make sure, make sure. So the first, next slide, is that um, monkeys are uh, actually, they are specifically very, uh, wait, I'm losing my slides, where are they? Oh yeah, sorry, <clears throat> Nanner. So point one. <laughs> you needed your Nanner. slides to remember that? You were losing your slides and couldn't remember sorry. monkey eat Nanner? <laughs> yeah, sorry, no, uh, okay, so monkey actually eat Nanner. Um, and you, you don't want to forget about this because monkey eat nanner. As you can see there, it's taking big bite of nanner. Uh -huh. uh, very, very important. Very, can't, can't forget about that. Wouldn't. Next slide. So then um, the next thing you need to remember is that um, monkey get business done. Monkey is not just, you know, 
it's not just some other animal, you know, the cheetah or the sloth. They're cool and all, you know, they're fine. But monkey, monkey get business done. Sure. Monkey get business done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, he, um, yeah, he looks good. Yeah. Uh, final slide or next slide. Mm -hmm. And not only do monkey get business done, funky monkey, monkey, very funky. This is this is like the mullet. It's it's part work and part play. And the monkey, as you can see from these very, very funky monkeys, the monkeys, funky. So um, you can go to the last slide. Uh, and as we can see in conclusion, all these points show that a uh, monkey's cool, monkey nanner, monkey get business done. Chat, funky monkey, right? I think so too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your presentation, your powerful presentation on Thanks, monkeys. Yeah. I hope that you do not get too much trouble with your parents for putting together <laughs> that groundbreaking piece of research. Uh, thank you. Thank no you, problem. Gray. All right. Thanks, one more, yeah. boys. Thanks, Gray. Uh, one more, but I'm going to have to go with Bo and his presentation on turtles. Bo, it's all up to you, brother. Bring it home. Hello, hello. What is good? What's good, Bo? Yo, all right. Let me just tell you, preface <laughs> real quick, you know, I'm really excited because... <laughs> I like that energy. I like that. It's yeah. a good presentation yeah. starter. Yeah. I always do that I in my have, own presentation. I'm glad, you know, us two, 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 two of the same, right? Well, let's find out. <laughs> Jump yeah, right in right. wherever you'd like to go and just tell me next slide. Yeah, Bo's presentation course, on the power of the turtle. Yes, thank you for introducing me, Atrioc, and I am here to tell you about the turtle. And you can hop on right to the next slide, because I want to preface this argument a little with what the next slide is about. And the next slide is, how do we really determine what the best animal is, right? Mm. And to do this, you really want to look at animals within generations. So if you could go to the next slide, the one where Done. the giant red... <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. So if you look at here, we want to determine exactly cross-generationally which animal is the best. So if you want to go to the next slide now, this is the turtle. Now, just look at him looking at you. Yeah. And you can see all the wisdom in those eyes. And this wisdom is going to be carried out throughout the generations compared to every other animal. So now if you want to go to the next slide, mm -hmm. we first look at the Zoomer generation. <laughs> and what do we notice about these Zoomers? They socialize. And that's already better than the oh, Zoomers that we see today. True. If you look at the Zoomers that we've seen just previously on this stream, we see a, a lot of loneliness. We, we see a lot of this lack of socialization. Don't steal my turtles, lines. <laughs> turtles don't have this problem. Now, if you look at the next slide, mm -hmm. we see right there that, you know, the mill millennial turtles, they're just free flowing. And, you know, they, they're just there chilling. We see this in Finding Nemo, one of the, the best research sources of you know turtles right and we see how cool and chill the turtles are and that's exactly what we expect from the millennial population okay, I feel like you're and talking finally up to me. and finally on the last okay, slide no, we have the boomer turtles and you know boomer turtles they age like wine and i gotta say when i look think of boomer turtles and i think of atria the similarities are astounding I don't... the wisdom that they carry no but <laughs> the way that they carry themselves it's truly one for one what, uh, do you have to, what do you think about it personally i don't think it's truly one for one i i think there's some differences between boomer turtles and uh, atrioc can, can you list any of them for me because when i look at it you know i don't have a I, shell the the uh, you know but the shell is like metaphorical right it, just because you don't have like a physical shell I, i'd say you, you still have Fuck. to break your shell on stream Fuck. that's a good one uh, yes. <laughs> all right thank you thank you bo for your presentation on turtles didn't really talk about why they're your favorite animal just <laughs> more about why the i just need to prove why they're the best i mean if they're everyone's favorite animals and they're obviously mine right uh we'll find out when the vote hits thank you bo we're gonna do one more presentation thank you we're gonna do one more presentation with quack given there's been an outpouring of community support a riot if you will to give quack his chance to give quack his due quack yo yo that's good oh you know just uh reviewing some excellent powerpoints of which i'm sure we'll be able to add yours to that list I feel like I could have guessed this animal. 
Really? <laughs> I was going here. for. I was throwing you for a loop here. You thought actually. you were throwing me for a loop? Yeah, something about it made me guess that you would pick ducks. But let's oh. hear about it, Quack. Let's go into why ducks right. are possibly the best animal of all time. So this is ducks presented by me, Quack underscore zero zero one in chat. Uh, bottom left, bottom right is me. Bottom left is also me on a bad day. Uh, next slide. I mean, top left. Next. Got it. <laughs> all right. First, it's a little fun fact. Did you know duck have corkscrew dicks? Uh Uh-huh. I can confirm this as a duck myself. Added information, mine is very, very long. On on the right side. I didn't think I'd be getting too much information in these PowerPoints. Well, (laughs) I like to give a bit more. That's me on the right. Yeah. You said it's a picture of uh, me with a baddie as well. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Just confirming. That's me with a baddie. Next Got slide. It. Next slide. I like ducks. Personally, I've met a lot of very cool ducks, including family members. My cousins are gang affiliated. It is worth mentioning. <laughs> Therefore, they're cool. <laughs> Next slide, please. Sure. I have no comment. Types of ducks. Mallards are the most common type of duck. Thumbs up emoji. They are also the coolest. I myself, big mallard guy. Next slide. People pog wow this is a beautiful duck next slide why i quack underscore zero zero one in chat think you atrioc should adopt a duck and also pay them for editing your youtube videos <laughs> they work very hard that's a plus i do work hard the water is so cold in canada Brr. please atrioc it's been months please <laughs> I'm paying him so Next. much less after this fucking Next PowerPoint. slide. <laughs> My DMs are open. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank you, Quack. No worries. Thank hey, you, Quack. P- powerful presentation. Not really focused on why ducks are so good. More almost a plea for more pay. We're now going to close it out with a vote. And I would love, 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 love to hear what you guys think. After all that, what was your favorite animal? The poll is now open. One, two, three, four, five, or six. We'll do a runoff. Yeah, we'll do a runoff of top two. At 500 votes, we'll be taking the top two. All right, it's an easy top two. It's an easy top two. Monkeys versus turtles. Monkeys versus turtles. Oh my God, it's a dead heat. This shit's a dead heat. Oh my god, it's a dead heat! Monkeys versus turtles! Oh my god, it's a dead heat at 500! We're going to 600, it's a runoff! Is that? Nope, still too close! We're going to 700! It's now official. After passing 700 votes and going to 800, more Zoomers have voted in this poll than chose to vote in the presidential election. (laughs) At 800, I think I simply have to call it. Even one vote could turn the tide. Ah! In the last second, Monkey takes it! Monkey takes it at the last second! A November surprise! The Monkey Wave! A November surprise! Congratulations! As they say, monkeys do get business done.